Hello everybody, My, I am just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for another video. Anyways, how are you all doing? I hope you all are doing well. I hope all of you are you know, experiencing good health and all that. Anyways, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to have another shave using some stuff that I got from Dennis. Um, and uh, I haven't used any of it but the razor so far because I was really interested in it and I just couldn't wait so anyways let's go ahead and take a look um, and I have used the pre-shave you'll see what that is here in a minute the razor is the Yaki double open comb it has a nice open comb here on the base plate and it has an open comb on the on each side on the cap. Um, really nice little razor. Got a really cool little handle. Kind of reminds me of the um, Razor Rock Halo handle a little bit, except for the bottom part doesn't unscrew. And it just goes straight down, just poof, straight down a little bit. And the reason why it reminds me a little bit of the Halo handle is because if you're familiar with the Halo handle, you'll know what I mean. These grooves are just closer, space closer, and aren't quite as big. The brush is a Yaki brush as well. I don't know what this knot is called. It is synthetic, but it's a nice soft little knot. Um, really nice little, just a really nice little uh, compact little brush. The soap, I'm not even going to go ahead and try and say the name of it. It is this. It is Buck Hasslinger's. Dennis said that it's been his favorite soap for quite some time now. And the scent's not that strong on it, so, um, you know, but I've been wanting to try some Hasslingers out, so that's what we're going to use. Anyways, let's go ahead and let's get the brush loaded. The blade is that Balsana Enox. Um, I think it's on about its fourth use. Um, the mug is a Snoopy Christmas mug. Anyways, you know what? We're going to do this messy here. I'll go ahead and kick it on in there. Mug's a little deep for this brush, so. I'll just hold it here in my hand. I can always rinse off my hand. A little bit of water. I've got some. I got a couple of shaving mugs, or you know, I got one shaving mug, which I got for Christmas. That probably would have been perfect for it, but hmm. But um, I've got some Colonel Conk almond in it, so. All right. All right. Let me wet the face. And Messy shaving here, guys. Um, not bad little brush. Let me rinse my hands real quick. Anyways, Dennis told me in the after the last video I did that the um, Barbadoo or Barbadoques razor, however that's pronounced, he actually 
got it because wood grain. Oh, okay. Nice. But, um, I guess from what I said, Barbados kind of screwed up on the order, on an order he made. And, um, in order to get the, uh, I mean, in order to they would say, hey, sorry man, they just included that razor and, you know, just threw that razor in when they corrected the order. So, that's some pretty decent customer services right there to say, oops, our bad, we're sorry, but you know what, here you go. Hasslingers. Nice, nice soap. Um, doing quite well. So, I like it. Helping the razor scoop. I mean, this razor is not bad razor. It's not super aggressive. Um, not real mild. Well, it's more mild than it is aggressive, but, you know, it's a decent little razor. Anyways, pass one done. But, um, And she tried pronouncing this Hasslinger name, um, and she just she's like, ah, da, da, da. I'm like, don't worry, I'll just put in the title of the video. Um, got a email, a notification, or a subscriber here. Oh, a few weeks back, I um keep forgetting to mention now. Uh, about four videos back, I guess. Um, he's got a channel. Um, he hasn't done anything on his channel, like across, uh, across the grain. He hasn't done anything in about a year. Um, but his channel is called Guitar Wick. D S I can't remember the letters. I'll I'll put it in the description. Um or link to his channel in the description. Um but if you like guitar you know videos where guys are doing guitar stuff, he's got some pretty good videos. Um uh, playing Joe Satriani. And other stuff. Um, pretty damn good, dude. I must say that. <laughs> Anyways, so um, we got a cold front moving in. The weather, uh, you know, it was warm, pretty warm today. And then, um, just all of a sudden, everything just dropped temperature-wise, and um, had the wind pick up, and it was raining a little bit earlier. Past two done. But um, this video seems to be just flying by, so. But the editing, a little bit of editing I do do.
got put a little bit of water in it. It's starting to dry out a little bit in the brush. Um, shaving the other day using my 38 Gillette Senator and um, which was one of the what I consider more iconic razor against the grain um, that Gillette made um, kind of one of those ones that is a collector you know, I'm, I, I don't have high-end, real high-end uh, razors as far as my collecting goes. Um, the most high-end I've got, to my knowledge, is my Timeless Bronze um, $140 razor. And, um, my girlfriend hasn't told me how much she paid for the Senator or the um, Schick Repeater, so... I think one of them was in the 200 something dollar range. Um, so, that might have been a repeater, I'm not sure. But, anyways, um, I was shaving with it and my heart momentarily stopped because as I was shaving with it, it slipped out of my hand. And I'm like thinking, oh no. And it went kerplunk and landed it right in the plastic bowl that I keep water in when I'm shaving. Um, for rinsing my razor. So, uh, I picked it up and I was like, oh no, no, I hope it ain't bent. Um, I didn't want to screw the doors back up after having them straighten out at Razor Emporium. But, fortunately, or no harm came to the razor, but, yeah, it was kind of, you got the little guy in slow motion in your brain going, oh no. Until you hear the razor hit the ground or land wherever. Luckily for me, I'm not Butterfingers really much. Ah, dang it. Can't believe it. It's like I was going to use, which also came from Dennis. The PAA cube, <laughs> one of the cubes, one of the PAA cubes. I was going to use that. I can't believe it. <laughs> it's like the fourth or fifth time, but I'm not really, um, major into pre-shaves, but the cube is nice. I will say that. It is nice. So, oh, I'll use it on my head. Oh, yay. If you heard that in the background, um, I apologize for that. Got my bathroom and pretty good residual on this here. So, on the headslingers, so, good. Anyways, that's the shave. So, all I gotta do is shave the head. Anyways, real quick, I'm gonna do the alum. Hmm, not bad. 
Not bad. Yeah, it's barking at me a little bit. Not too bad, though. But anyways, see you for the post. Hey guys, that was really, really just a comfortable, enjoyable shave. Um, make sure I ain't got no soap in my ears. The razor, um, if you don't like mild razors, you're not going to want to get this one. Um, you know, it's probably a little less mild than, you know, um, Mercur 34C, at least in my opinion. Um, but it feels good. It feels good. You know, that double open comb, nice, nice little, nice little design. I really like the razor. Um, the blade, Balsano Enox, worked quite well. And you got no irritation. The, the soap is really, really good. Hasslingers. I'm not even going to try and pronounce the name. It'll be in the title. And the Yaki brush. Um, I prefer a little bit bigger brush, but I like it. It's not a bad brush. It's got really decent backbone. So I could see it being good for a harder soap. So uh, tips. You know, they're not the softest I've ever used, but they're not bad. Not bad at all. I have no complaints about that brush. No complaints at all. Anyways, so we'll go with some Dickinson's Witch Hazel. The cube. Really, really wanted to use that. Really. I keep forgetting to, I keep forgetting it. I even brought it down and put it on my tray for um <laughs> for me to grab. Not worried about a bomb. But the aftershave is a Maggart's aftershave. Let me find it. Is this one Maggart's Orange Chill or Orange Menthol, excuse me. Now I imagine that this, this, these aftershaves are probably made by the same person at Maggart's, that makes soap for Maggart's. And that is, unless if it's changed, it is um, Maria Armin from Through the Fire Fine Craft. It's a really, really good soap if you like orangey, orangey scents. It probably doesn't go with the with the soap, but I just want to use it. I like the smell of it. There it goes. It's warming. Ah, that's starting to pull. Yeah. But, yeah, it's cooling down. It's cooling down nicely. Anyways, guys, that is the shave. I want to thank you all for joining me. Um, Y'all take it easy. I'll see you all in the next video. And on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.